Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Today I'm at Kenny Upal, located in St. Catharines, Ontario, and this is a brand new location, just opened up three days ago, which is nice. I love it. The more locations, the better, as far as I'm concerned. And this in front of us today is a 1998 GMC Sierra 3500. And this one's 4x4, it's dually, and yeah, let's take a look at it. But before we get into this, I want to say thank you for stopping in. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you all enjoy this video. And if you could go down below, hit that subscribe button, the like button, and drop a comment down below what you thought, or what you want to see. Just drop a comment. <laughs> anyway, we'll take a look under the hood first, I guess because we're right here. And under the hood, we have a, what looks to be a turbo diesel, which would be the 6.5 turbo diesel, which uh, not really a powerhouse, but it was actually efficient. This is a Detroit diesel and has a K9 filter, which is not good for these a Borg Warner turbo made in USA has uh, two gills on the hood as I would call them <laughs> which are actually just hood scoops but it's more fun to call them gills as you can see it does have independent front every Chevy does since 1988 it was not blue before, it was a that silver birch metallic, I believe. And it's a blue interior, oh my gosh. But it had a lit party in here. So, it's 409,000 kilometers on it though. It's, uh, it's up there. Maybe it was blue from the beginning actually. Maybe this door was just replaced, I don't know. Oh, and your typical door hinge problem on these GM trucks. The new calipers on the front, though. The box rot, pretty bad. It has a toolbox in the back, with bolts and stuff in it. And as you can see, more dually wheels, which would have came off the back of this piece. A lot of rust. Nothing serious, but a lot of surface rust on the frame. The body is, well, the body is no good on the the box at least the cab I can't super tell the rockers are there cab corners are there but how good are they is the question tailgate's gone but it did have a fifth wheel plate or a gooseneck plate in it so I'm guessing this is probably a truck that towed trailers around a lot so it probably didn't even have a tailgate on it to be honest this side of the box actually isn't overly bad this is actually kind of savable on this side at least but here's where we see that the cab is actually no good this corner is all bondo um, but I guess if that's all the bondo in the truck then pretty good not bad at all being a GMT 400 these things rotted out like there is no tomorrow now I've never seen these before Chrome caps for the regular mirrors. Just weird. I've never seen one before. Can't say I'm a fan. As you can see, it has chrome beauty rings on the wheels. And block heater, of course, being a diesel. Something was looped, but I don't know what. Maybe trans cooler or a power steering cooler. Who knows, right? But, uh, yeah. That is a... Actually, let's take a look in the back. It is a crew cab. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, it even had baby seats in it too. Oh, that sucks. I hope the kids weren't in this when this happened. That's really unfortunate. Hmm. Probably just an honest guy trying to make a living then, but truck decided otherwise. 
Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day, everyone.